Hey y'all, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a really quick mint sauce. You can buy mint sauce in the store, but oftentimes it has a little sugar in it, which I just don't think real mint sauce needs. So I'm gonna show you how to make it at home super quick. This is a whole packet of mint in the from the store. I think it's usually about 0.75 ounces, the size of the packages that I buy. I'm gonna just go ahead and pull. And honestly, it really doesn't matter. You could use more mint or less mint but if you wanted to because the proportions on this one are just sort of like a, very loose. So use as much or as little as you wish, but to make sure you have enough for the, uh, the recipes that we usually use this for, you're gonna wanna use at least a full package. In this case, we often pair mint sauce with lamb. That's a favorite, a favorite combination. All right, yay. Now I have a big old pile of mint. The best thing that I've found is you basically just kind of crumple it together as best you can. Make a little pile and take your knife. Take it again. Now I can start. How finely you chop it is up to you, of course. but you don't want it to be too big of pieces. You do want it to be relatively finely diced for this, or finely chopped. You can see the kind of the texture I've gotten it to for the most part. I'm putting it in this little tiny container. Don't need anything too big. If I had a small mason jar that wasn't being used already, I would use that as well. Get as much in there as I can. Take a little white wine vinegar. You could use red wine vinegar if you wanted to, or apple cider, or any kind of vinegar you like. I like white wine for this because it's a relatively mild flavor and it's not gonna change the flavor of the mint too much, at least not to me. I wouldn't recommend balsamic though. <laughs> that would be the one I wouldn't do. Or rice wine maybe. Yeah, exactly how many, I don't know. I just want enough to kind of barely cover the mint. There we go, that's enough. Perfect. So now you can see just barely covered with that vinegar right there. That's it, really simple. Let it hang out in your fridge. The longer you let it stay in there, the more kind of the flavor mellows out and it's really, it, you know, it sort of sinks into the vinegar and it tastes really good, so. Okay, I'll put that in my fridge for later. Bye, y'all.